What is up everybody, welcome into this new video. Let's see how we can use Metzioni to create some logos in whatever type of style that you wanted to. So for this particular tutorial guys, I do have this design of logo that we're creating with Metzioni. So Metzioni is going to be helping us a lot to create some artificial intelligence stuffed based on the text prompt that you asked. The computer. So, in order to get started uh, here, guys, what you want to do is to go into the metjourney.com. And once you are here into metjourney, what you want to do is to choose the option that says join the beta mode. This one is going to be redirecting us into the Discord server of metjourney. So, once you accept the invitation, I'm going to go back and I'm going to cause have my Discord application already enabled. If you don't have an account into this code, it will be used really, really simple. Provide an email as well as a phone number, verify both of them, and then you're actually good to go. So once you accept the invitation from this code, the rest is just going to be really, really simple. For example, here, I have, I'm now inside the Metzjourney server. So what I want to do, if I want to get started, I can like um, work like almost everybody is doing here. So people are just um, running their prompt. For example, they have a half skeletal half Arab sitting on a throne around him. The flames of the caliphate of the flag of Islam before. And this is the NFT that was created by the computer. So um, uh, what I can do now is to check it out all the prompts that have been created by Mazzioni. As you can see, the work is really, really amazing. So speaking about logos, these are just a few elements that were created with letters. For example, here, logo design, fancy logo of letter G, flat 2D, backdoor, flat logo design, combined letters, um, HG, simplistic company logo. So as you can see, this uh, just a few elements of what you can do. So if you want to get started here, what I can strongly suggest to you is to add this into your own server so you can start working like in a more personal way. So what you want to do is to hit into add a server. You want to choose create my own or create a template that you want to do. And then you want to go back, make sure that you um, add a fish in the challenge. And, um, I mean, this is just something that I created a few seconds ago. Uh, there we go. So um, now what I wanted to do is to import the Metjoni bot inside my server. So go back into Metjoni here into this section. You want to look for newcomer and choose wherever newbies room you wanted to. Let's say, for example, the last one. And in here, I want to locate the Metjoni bot. If you don't see that, you can go always into member list, choose Metjoni bot. And hit into add to the server, choose the server that you created, and hit into continue. So once you have successfully done that, it's going to be appearing here your Metzioni bot. As you can see, it says welcome Metzioni bot, say hi. And we can start work with Metzioni. So the rest is really, really simple. If you type the fast forward slash, you can go into Metzioni. And here, as you can see, we do have a few options that we can use in order to make Metzioni work into our server. For example, you have the info, the settings, subscribed, help, and much more. We just want to focus into Imagine. So here into the Imagine, you have prompt. So here, what you want to do is to type whatever prompt you are, uh, you have in your head. For example, I typed it, a cat dressed like an astronaut riding a blue unicorn and tapped enter and boom, the computer uh, done something like that. So if you ask the computer to do something related into a logo design, for example, this is a prompt, a simple flat oval logo, white background, vector style. This is what the computer is going to be doing. So here are a few examples of what can you ask to the computer so the computer can do something uh, with your idea. So what you want to do is to focus into three things. Number one, the style. Number two, the design. And number three, the, uh, let's call this like the technique. So once again, we do have the simple 2D black owl head logo, orange accent, flat, sharper, white background. So what you want to do is exactly to, uh, let's say not to copy paste this prompt, but try to look for something related into what you're looking for. Uh, here, for example, 
what I want to be doing here is to scroll a little bit down and try to find some style that I do like. For example, this one. And you have simple logo design of letter R S flat 2D vector company logo low poly test. So these are the elements that were created for um, for the for the prompt actually here. And the other thing that you can do is to go and open a new tab. And here you want to look for logo examples. Go into images and here into images you want to look for a logo that you kinda like. I'm gonna scroll a little bit down, let's scroll a little bit down, like let's say for example like Nike or Alpha. And what you can do is to download this image and then you can import that into your Discord server. So I'm gonna scroll a little bit down. And here what I just did is to import the image. I downloaded the image in here. I import that here into the Discord. So once the image has been imported, I just type into my image. I just type into copy image address. And here you want to go once again into imagine I'm going to delete this so you guys can see how we can do this from scratch. Choose imagine prompt. Here into prompt you want to let's say make a variation of a logo with the letters like this letters S W based on this image. You go with two dots and you paste the application, you paste the image that you just imported, which is actually this one. You type into the enter and then you're good to go. Now, what you want to do is to first of all type into fast forward slash hit into info. And here's going to be appearing everything that um, actually happens into your account. In my case, I was using a free trial version. Everyone who is inside the Discord server of MedJourney has a trial version. So as you can see, it says your free trial has come to an end. If I don't want to work now with the MedJourney, what I can do is to go into my account. And once I'm in here, just want to sign in. Otherwise, I want to go into the fast forward slash and look for the subscribe. Hit into the enter mark. Open subscription page. Hit into yup. And here are the purchase subscriptions that I can choose. We do have the, of course, I just want to focus into the monthly billing. And as you can see, the basic plan only is for $10. And we are a limited generation for less than 200 per month. General conversion terms, access to member gallery, and optional credit top ups. So uh, with that being said, guys, this is how we can use this great application, Majorni, to create your uh, own logos. And of course, you don't have to be worrying about the copyrights or anything because this is totally from for you and created for the from the Majorni to your uh, company. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more amazing tools about the Majorni and what else can you do here in the Majorni. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and I will see you on the next video.